Hello, hello everyone. Welcome again to another discussion about the summer 2021 anime season. Today, we're going to be talking about Spirit Chronicles, or Seirei Gen Soki. This one is an odd one. It's an isekai. However, there's more people than just the main character who gets, like, sent to this other world. And... Actually, up until the final episode, I was thinking it was quite different than what it actually was. So, that's interesting. Um, but anyway, the main character dies in like this train slash bucks accident, gets reincarnated as a, uh, a kid who's on the verge of death, um, takes over both his memories and his previous memories, and becomes this kid and basically has like magical abilities and stuff like that, ends up saving a princess and gets to go to this magical academy. Uh, and basically from there, time travels very fast until he's like 15, 16, 18 maybe? I, I forget the exact timeline. But uh, essentially, it was kind of a mess to follow what was going on. Because it like went all over the place, I felt, in, in my opinion. Um, because even though there's like... Uh, multiple, like, girls and stuff on the cover, he, like, doesn't spend any time with, like, any of them for a long time. It's not like uh, the, the normal isekai where they have, like, a, a traveling companion or companions or, like, a harem grows. Even though the show is marked as being a harem having a theme, um, it really didn't feel like it. It felt like he was just meeting girls and then continuing on his journey uh, and then not really doing anything else like i feel like even the uh the very basic like goal of the show uh, of the main character was unclear from the start like it starts out with him just being a kid and his goal i guess is to live like, there's no real clear-cut goal um and then as he grows up he says like oh yeah i want to go to my my parents home homeland his home country uh and whatnot, and so, you know, whatever. And then after that, we learn he wants revenge against the people who, you know, killed his mother, uh, or at least the, the character, the, the boy who he, like, possessed, basically, his mother who died. Uh, really a weird thing. And, uh, yeah. It, like I said, it's kind of all over the place. He goes from, like, location to location. Like, he starts in, like, this capital city, and then he goes to this, like, other village. And then he goes to another village. Then he goes back to the second village. Then he goes back to the main capital. So it's like he goes back and forth, back and forth, is what it seems like. And meets these different characters who he, like, forms a bond with and then just abandons them. Or, like, says goodbye and, like, goes to do other stuff. And then meets, like, other stuff. I don't know. The ending leave left a lot to be desired. Personally, I would have completely removed episode 11. It didn't need to occur. Uh, in fact, I personally skipped through all of it when it came out. Because uh, it was... Uh, I don't like... Uh, I'm, I'm not going to try to spoil it, but I do not like the content of what occurs in episode, like, the end of the 10 and then the be all of 11. Uh, I do not like it. That kind of content, I should say. But the whole thing just felt very, not generic, very, like, I don't know. Like, most isekai have, like, a, a theme. Like, oh, I'm going to, uh, you know, kill the demon lord. I'm going to try to find a way back home. Uh, I'm going to learn magic and become great at it. I'm going to become a swordsman and become great at it, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, this one, he just goes from, like, I want to grow up, I want to go to my parents' homeland, I want revenge. That's what it seems to be like. Uh, he doesn't have, like, a very, like, a long-term goal, so it just kind of goes from one thing to the other, it, it seems like. It's not bad, like, the, the content of it, other than episode 11, I didn't like that. Uh, it was a lot of political, unnecessary bullshit that was happening in that one. Um, and I can honestly say, having not watched it, I did not need to watch it because it did not matter to me uh, in terms of story. Yeah. But anyway, 
yeah, it's kind of hard to pin this one down in terms of like what exactly was good and bad about it. Uh, was it bad? No. Could it have been better? Yeah. I, hmm. I'm honestly got to say, when it comes to like the isekai that I rewatch, because every single isekai that I've seen up until now, like I've been like, I would totally rewatch that. This one, probably, probably not. Uh, because it has the traditional like overpowered main character that most isekai have, uh, but they don't do anything with it, really. Uh, like he'll do like a couple of things here and there, and then at the end he does something spectacular. But for the most part, he just wanders around, dragging his feet, going from places to places, and it, it feels like nothing really happens. Is what I gotta say. Like, there's twelve episodes, sure, but in that twelve episodes, he he meets three people, he learns a bit about his past, and that's really I guess he learns better magic control and how to like well he didn't even learn how to fight in the goddamn academy he goes to. He like has his own style that he uses, but that's really all that happens in this, I don't know if there's going to be like a second season. It sets up for like a second season. Uh, but I, I don't know if I'm going to watch it, if it comes out. I don't know if it's, if it's good, if I hear good things about it, I might, but if it's like the same thing where it's like just heel dragging the entire time, it just felt really slow is what I got to say. This one felt like, I feel like it didn't really click with me, you know? It's not one that I would rewatch, as I mentioned. Uh, everything else, every other show that I've seen with Nisekai, I'm like, hell yeah, I'll rewatch that motherfucker. But this one, I'm, eh, eh. Rather than waste my time, I could watch a better Isekai, basically. It just felt really generic. Like, it has some good concepts, but it also had this, like, magic, and then there was, like, spirit magic, which I couldn't tell the difference. They both, like, both of them seem to basically do the same thing, as far as I could tell. It's just apparently spirit magic uses spirits, whereas other magic uses something else I don't remember. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It was a weird one. It definitely was a weird one. Anyway, it's gonna be all for me, everyone, on this uh, video, because, like I said, I'm running out of stuff to, like, mumble about about it. I don't really have much to say other than that all the things I just said about it. So, uh, basically, watch it if uh, you really want an isekai. But I think there's even like another isekai this season that's better. Right? I think so. I cannot remember for the life of me, actually. Uh, yeah, there's a number of isekai that are out this season that you could definitely watch. Uh, actually, there's like 10 of them this season. I forgot. Uh, I don't know how I forgot. I just was like, uh, blurred on a blank there. But yeah, there's like five other isekai you could watch that are much better this season. Um, this one just felt subpar compared to the rest. So if you really want an isekai in addition to the five that are already out this season, uh, take a look at this one. Other than that, it's, it's quite forgettable. None of the characters really stood out or anything. So take that as you will. Uh, the rest of the season is still coming out. We have, it looks like, 11 more shows that are set to wrap up, which means 11 more uh, of these videos. And uh, I believe next week another one ends today. I believe uh, it is the, uh, the you meet in five seconds, then fight uh, anime which is wrapping up, 11, episode 11 came out today, so the next week should be 12, and then the rest of them are also kind of getting near the end. Higurashi has, I think, a couple more weeks on it, uh, but a lot of them should be wrapping up this week or next week, I believe, uh, except for the ones that started a little late. Uh, but anyway, that'll do it for me, everyone. Next time we'll be talking about another show, so feel free to uh, hang out until then. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say bye.
because I'm starting to ramble as I always do. So until next time, bye for now.